Hey everybody, it's Derek with the Ultimate Hang, and today I'm excited to show you my new hammock hang calculator on the ultimatehang.com. This new version it upgrades the original version with a lot of new updates and features that I believe will help you hang your hammock a little more accurately and give you a better idea of what to expect. Now that said, this is still an estimating tool. It does not account for, let's say, fabric stretch, dynamic load forces. Uh, certainly it's difficult to get exact based on your um, particular hammock. It's really what you put into the calculator. So use it as a, as a starting point to estimate. For example, uh, if you're putting up a hammock stand or a, on a pergola or at maybe even outdoors where you've got a, a hang distance and you want to know, you know, how high do, about how high should I hang this hammock? That's where this calculator will come in and help you. So I'm going to walk you through today how to use the calculator, how to interpret the data, and then really I want to take you outside and show you a real world example of how this calculator can be used outside in real life. So with that, let's dive in. All right, when you look at the calculator, uh, up in the top are all the results, and here on the inputs is where you're gonna enter in your information about your calculator to make this work, or about your hammock, I should say. Now, one of the differences in this calculator is you can pick between a known distance or a known height. Now, this is really handy for those if you are deciding whether you, you're hanging between two posts, for example, or that would be a known distance. But in some cases, you may have a known height. We'll come back to that in a minute. So in my case, I know that my trees outside are 18 and a half feet apart. So I'm gonna put that number in there. And my hammock length, this, in, this is the total length of the hammock as if you laid it on the ground. Now, if you've got a Mayan hammock or a, you know, a kind of a traditional hammock that has strings on the end, you wanna include the strings as well, up to that bite. That's the total length on both ends. So for some of those hammocks, it's going to be long. It could be 14, 12 feet in, uh, in length. My hammock is 11 feet long. It's just a, a grand trunk hammock, pretty easy. The ridge line is not needed to use in this calculator. That does come into play if you have, uh, like say, a camping hammock that has a ridge line, which is a line or a rope tied between the two ends of the hammock. And it prevents the hammock from being pulled too tight. It's a really handy feature. It sets the hang angle for the hammock every single time. We'll come back to that and show you in a minute. Preferred sit height. Again, this is how high off the ground you want the hammock to be when all said and done. And this is an important factor I'll show you when you calculate the hang height as well. The weight in the hammock, again, this is more for entertainment purposes. You can put whatever number you want in here, but you have to have something for the cal calculator to work. And then the hang angle, Again, this is what that angle of that suspension should be, what you want to set it to. This calculator, you can put in any angle you want, which I'm sure you'll get some really funny results if you try to goof around, but I do have some recommended angles based on the hammock type. For most gathered in hammocks, 30 degrees is a great starting point. But there are some hammocks, especially those big Mayan hammocks, where a bigger hang angle, like 35, 45 degrees, 50 degrees, may actually be more appropriate for that hammock. And then some of the other hammocks, like bridge hammocks and spreader bars, actually benefit from a little bit tighter hang angle. And a lot of that honestly is due to the fact that you have to hang those um, a little bit lower anyway, because the hammock elevates once you put the spreader bars. We'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, once you put in your data, click on hang it, and that will produce the new results up here in the calculator. So for my hammock, I'm looking at, for this distance, right, 18 and a half feet, I want to look at hanging my hammock suspension about 6.8 feet off the ground. Again, this is in decimal, so translate 0.8, that's probably close to 10 inches. Um, but you can round up, you know, around 7 feet off the ground. Again, it's an estimating tool, but that's what I want to look for. The other element that I want to look on is the suspension length. This is how long I want my, my, for example, my straps or rope, whatever I'm using, chains, between the anchor point and the end of my hammock. So those are the two numbers I want to kind of keep in my mind. Let's talk about some nuances in this calculator. Let's say that we have a ridge line. We've got a camping hammock that has a fixed ridge line. So 
you check that box off. Now you can see right now that the calculator automatically calculates the imaginary ridge line. It's just the that straight line based on the hammock and the suspension being the same uniform angle. This calculator is really just a simple triangle calculator. If, if you could imagine that that hammock being pulled tight in the center and having a straight line back and forth. That's really what we're calculating. But when you add a ridge line, you add a bit of a wrinkle because it means that you fixed the triangle of the hammock different than the suspension. This new calculator actually calculates both triangles, which is really nice. A lot of people recommend about 83% of the hammock length should be the ridge line so you can lay down really nice. So this calculator actually has a mini calculator in here. So if you put in it your hammock length and click 83% ridge line, it will put in here in inches what that ridge line should be. So again, if you don't have a ridge line, you want to add one, you can put in any number in here or you can calculate what that might be for 83%. Now, if you want to use a different percentage, you know, make those calculations, put in whatever uh, length you want to calculate the ridge line. If we hit hang it, you'll see the difference now. Notice the ridge line is now fixed at 109.6 inches. But notice here, the hammock hang angle is almost 34 degrees, which is different than the suspension angle. That means as the suspension is coming off 30 degrees, then the hammock is actually gonna be dipping a little bit differently, a little bit lower in this case than the suspension. That's going to artificially affect our hang height. As you can see here, our hang height has now elevated because that hammock is dipping lower than it was before, we have to raise that hang height higher in order to have that 18 inch sit height that you see here. So that's what the calculator is doing. It's, it's showing, it's estimating what that should be. Now in real life, are you gonna be able to reach 7.3 feet off the ground? Maybe not. So in real world application, your suspension angle may be quite a bit narrower for this particular hammock for this particular dis hang distance. So again, this is why it's an estimating tool. Your results may vary in real life. Some other inputs that are interesting in this calculator, I can now adjust for different styles of hammocks to a degree. Most common is gathered in. You may not even have to change this, but if you have a spreader bar hammock or a bridge hammock, it accounts for that difference in height that you may need to hang the hammock in order to achieve your 30 degree hang angle, for example. Again partly an estimating tool. You can also switch the units of measurement between metric or imperial, and it'll, it'll give you a quick warning to let you know that you, you've got to put in then those new numbers so it can calculate based on, is it 18 feet or are you putting in 18 uh, meters? So let me put this back to where we were. You can see here again, for my going outside, I know what my hang distance is, but I wanna know the hang height. I use the calculator. So let's take these two numbers and see in real life what this looks like. So we say about 6.8 or close to seven feet off the ground, if we can get it, 62 inches of suspension. Let's go outside and check this out. Okay, so here we are, my real world example. Got my hammock, got my trees, and my suspension. Using the hammock calculator, we're gonna apply those numbers to this particular hang. Now, as I showed, the distance between these two trees is 18 and a half feet. My hammock is 11 feet long, so the calculation came out to be that my hang point right here needs to be almost seven feet. I think it was about 6.8 feet. So what I do is grab my ruler, check out my hang point, and then the other measurement it gives me is my suspension length. Now for a lot of hammocks, if you have a, um, you know, a loop or some type of a connection point, that needs to be included in that measurement for the total length of that suspension. Sixty two point two inches. Now one of the checks on that is when you when you pull that hammock straight down, you can see we, we create that triangle. And that's exactly what we're measuring here with that hammock calculator. So the sit height from the, from the bottom of that apex down to the ground, based on my calculator, should be about 18 inches or 18 to 20 inches. And 
Now, like I said, so anyway, the, everything checks out now. We've got a perfect setup and it's gonna hang with that 30 degrees along the length of that hammock. Now, as I said in my uh, introduction, the, the calculator is still an estimating tool. The hammock's gonna stretch, the suspension's gonna stretch, the trees may bend and sway. So all of those dynamic factors you have to put into play. But as you can see, uh, they put, the, put the calculator to use and help you get the best ultimate hang in your backyard, in your home, out in the field. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or new features that you wanna see in the calculator, please put them in the comments or send me an email and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.